This is a demonstration of a transtibial pull-through repair of a posterior horn root tear with meniscus centralization. Begin with diagnostic arthroscopy. As you can see, there's a complete radial tear with a large gap near the root attachment of the posterior horn of the medial meniscus. Create an accessory medial portal that is proximal, medial, and higher compared to the standard anterior medial portal to allow for correct angulation of your instruments, depicted here. Through the accessory medial and lateral portals, perform a release of the meniscotibial ligaments off of the periphery of the tibial plateau. This can be performed with a curved bank heart elevator. After this is done, one should be able to appreciate the improved mobility of the meniscus as a whole in order to correct the extrusion. Introduce an Arthrex knotless FiberTac suture anchor through the accessory medial portal and place the anchor just central to the peripheral rim of the tibial articular surface. Drill and deploy the anchor. Retrieve only the FiberTac white blue repair suture through the anterior lateral portal. With a self retrieving suture passing device like an Arthrex scorpion, Pass the FiberTac repair suture through the meniscal capsular junction from inferior to superior. Use the scorpion to now pass the white black shuttle suture in a horizontal mattress fashion. And again, retrieve that through the anterior lateral portal. Use this passing suture to then shuttle your FiberTac repair suture back down and through the meniscal capsular junction in a mattress fashion. Retrieve the repair suture back out through the anterolateral portal. Then with the remaining shuttle suture, shuttle the repair suture down to the anchor. Now it is time to tension down your centralization sutures to reduce the meniscus. This can be accomplished with an arthroscopic knot pusher as depicted here. It can also be done using a pusher cutter device. This is an example of using the pusher cutter device to tension down the second suture. Alternatively, sutures can be passed using a micro suture lasso, again introduced through the accessory anterior medial portal. Pass the micro lasso from the periphery of the meniscal capsular junction down over the articular surface and retrieve it. Shuttle your fiber tack repair suture with the use of the micro lasso and then repeat the steps previously mentioned for tensioning down the suture. Once the centralization is complete, move on to the transtibial root repair. Using the Arthrex root repair guide through the anterior medial portal, determine the distance of the anatomic footprint of the root to the posterior aspect of the tibial plateau, 5, 7.5, or 10 millimeters, and set the guide appropriately. Drill through the anterior medial surface of the tibia up to the root footprint. Shuttle a looped passing suture up with the fiber stick. Repair the bony surface with a flip cutter or curette. Now with a knee scorpion, pass two to three simple cinch sutures. Next, use the looped shuttle suture to pull the cinch sutures down through the tibial tunnel. For secure fixation of the cinch sutures, we anchor these to the anterior medial face of the tibia, one centimeter distal to your tibial tunnel, using a 475 biocomposite swivel lock anchor. Prior to anchoring the sutures down, Cycle the knee from 0 to 90 degrees 10 times to remove creep from the system. Fix the sutures with the knee in 90 degrees of flexion. As you can see here, here's the final construct with the posterior root repair and the improved meniscus extrusion.